Hello friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to draw the graph of the function f of x equal to 1 by x. We are drawing the graph of the function f of x equal to 1 by x. Here, you need to observe few things. What is the value of f of 0? f of 0 is 1 divided by 0. What is 1 by 0? In the denominator 0 is there, then this is not defined. So, domain of this function is all real numbers except 0. Domain of this function is all real numbers except 0. So, you need to keep this point in your mind. In the domain, 0 is not there. Okay. To draw the graph of f of x equal to 1 by x, I will take some x values and I will calculate respect to f of x values like this. You observe here, these are some x values and respect to 1 by x values I will calculate. When x value is 0 0.1, what is the value of 1 divided by 0 0.1? 0 0.1 is nothing but 1 by 10. 1 divided by 1 by 10 is what? 1 divided by 1 by 10 is 10. So, when x is 0 0.1, 1 by x value is 10. When x is 0 0.5, what is 1 divided by 0 0.5? 1 divided by 0 0.5 can be written as 1 by 2. 1 by 1 by 2 is 2. So, its value is 2. If I take x value 0 0.9, 1 divided by 0 0.9, that is 1 divided by 9 by 10, that is 10 divided by 9. If we calculate this, you are getting 1.11. So, when x value is 0 0.9, 1 by x value is 1.11. When x value is 1, 1 by 1, 1 by 1 is 1. When x value is 10, 1 by 10, 1 by 10 value is 0 0.1. When x value is 100, 1 by 100 value is 0 0.01. When x value is 1000, 1 by 1000 value is 0 0.001. 0 0.001. You observe here after 1, as x values are increasing, this functional values are approaching to 0. You need to catch this point. As x values are increasing, f of x, 1 by x values are approaching to 0. They are Now, I will draw the graph of f of x equal to 1 by x for these values. Next, I will take negative values also. You observe here, I consider the coordinate axis to draw the graph of 1 by x. Now, I will plot these points. 0 is not a part of this domain. So, when x is 0, the function is not defined. 0 0.1 comma 10 means it is somewhere around it starts from here, 10. Okay. Next, uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. If we take here 0 0.5, 0 0.5, we are getting 2. 0 0.5 comma 2 means this will be here. 0 0.9 is 1.11. 0 0.9 approximately you will get here. 1.11. Okay. When you take x is 1, 1 by x value is also 1. That means the point 1 comma 1. 1 comma 1 is here. When you take x is 2, take x is 2. If I take x is 2, 1 by 2. 1 by 2 value is what? 0 0.5. When you take x is 2, 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. 2 comma 0 0.5, the point will be here. Okay. You take uh, x equal to 3. 1 by 3 value 0 0.3. Okay. So, and when you take x is 10, this value is close to 0. When you take x is 100, this is very, very close to 0. Like that, this graph will continue further. Now, you join all these points, how the graph looks. You observe here, the graph will look like this. And it never touches this x-axis here. The graph will look like this, okay. If I take negative x values, if I take minus 0 0.1, see here, when x is negative, 1 by x is also negative. This will be minus 10. When x value is minus 0 0.1, 1 by x value will be minus 2. When x value is minus 0 0.9, 1 by x value is minus 1.1. When x value is minus 1, 1 by x value is minus 1. When x value is minus 10, 1 by x value is minus 0 0.1. Like that, you see x value is negative, 1 by x value is also negative. That means x coordinate is negative, y coordinate is also negative. That means this graph will be in third quadrant. How the graph we got here, if we plot these points and join all those points, you will get the graph like this. You see, the graph will be like this. It is important 
to remember the graph of 1 by x we use this very frequently while doing je problems this is graph of the function f of x equal to 1 by x i hope you understand this class